What's going on, everybody? Tesla and SpaceX starting to look like a sci-fi movie, right? Check this out. Does that even look like planet Earth? Like, <laughs> this is what we got going on over at SpaceX. I mean, a person like Elon Musk has proven his ability to deliver the goods. There's a lot of people saying that, hey, this product wasn't delivered on time. Hey, this product is not what you said it was supposed to be. At the same time, we got Texas looking like the future, right? Like, we're building factories that manufacture rockets we're able to produce rockets faster than the government could actually do the paperwork for the rockets. Like it's one thing to do what we do in the factory with cars. And there's another thing to do what we do in factories for rockets. Like this is Supreme right here. Now people just skip over that. Like, Oh, whatever. That's just SpaceX, right? That, that's nothing amazing. But here we go again. I don't know if people, have been able to see this launch, but this was the recent launch, right? This is uh, number five, Starship number five. Right? We were able to launch it. It was able to go up and then the booster was able to come back down and land back on the launching pad. The two arms came together and it was caught. Now you'll see it at the end of the video. I'm gonna allow it to keep playing, but this is the amazing technology that only we can do, only the United States of America, and more specifically, only SpaceX. If you don't know, there's other different types of industry titans like Boeing, Raytheon, General Dynamics, all these industrial complexes and aerospace companies, they're doing well for themselves, but they don't have the same capabilities and the same technology as SpaceX. Also on top of that, they have a great business model underlying this. When, when we talk about Starlink, that's one thing. When we talk about just actually filling out contracts for other people who want to send payloads, we also do that. And there's futuristic plans. We have Starshield. This is gonna be an encrypted internet for government entities or public entities. So there's massive amounts of accomplishments. And of course, with the end goal to be able to colonize Mars, this is the type of mission. This is the type of product that we're delivering over at SpaceX. And while Apple is a great company and they're delivering iPhone 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and doing away with a button here or doing away with the screen, <laughs> doing away with the head jack, right? And we revel at that or adding a, a, a button on the camera where you can go like this on the phone, right? It's called the camera button, but it's not a button. Like that's the groundbreaking technology, artificial intelligence on the iPhone 16, but it's not on the iPhone 16 because it's still in beta or it's still, but we get hassled all the time about FSD. I mean, at what point is this going to start making sense? And as you can see, the tech is right here. Donald Trump said it himself. He had to call up Elon Musk and say, bro, is there anybody else that can do this? And the answer is no. Only SpaceX can do this. Great engineers. In a great process. It's not only just the engineers, guys. It's the culture of the company. The culture of the company has the processes and the system set up. Only the top people get to work here right? Not just anybody, not, not, not Joe Schmoes, right? Not somebody who really can't get it done and really can't hack it. Some of the best and brightest. And that includes me. Some people will actually be like, well, who are you to say anything? And I'd be like, well, I'm pretty, you know, amazing too, when it comes down to cybersecurity and counterintelligence, because I got an offer to work at SpaceX also, right? So, and it's harder to get into SpaceX than it is to get into Yale and Harvard. That's how extremely difficult it is. But I had an interview and I blew it out of the water. Talking about the water. Up next, we got the next splashdown. We got the next one. Look at this. Look at this. Flight six. Look at that factory right there. That's where we create the rockets. Guys, if you've never seen a walkthrough of SpaceX and the actual base down there, star base down in Texas, just YouTube it. Like, amazing technology, a great team over there 
a great process. But of course, we have competition. Do we have competition internally in the United States of America? I don't think so. But when it comes down to things like robotics or humanoid robots, we do have competition. Check this video out right here. It's coming out of China. Shout outs to them. I think this robot is pretty advanced. And if it's autonomous, I don't know, it doesn't clarify in this video, then this would be groundbreaking for them also. Okay. I guess he's checking the calendar to see what's his next work schedule. Though it could be programmable, so I don't know why he's checking out when's his work schedule. When I work, man. <laughs> when do, when's my next shift? When I get when I get my day off, right? So we got sixty plus joints, over two hundred total degrees of freedom. A tech shared from its vehicles, and then five foot and eight inches tall, and it weighs about one hundred fifty. Four pounds. This is very interesting. Of course, people in the bottom are asking, like, hey, is this CGI if it's real? And it is quite real. You can see the actual robot, the humanoid robot walking right here. And a lot of people are scared about this. They're scared about autonomous robots, humanoid robots. Is the model very good since it's humanoid versus specialized robots? And of course, the world was built out by humans. So the best form possibly for robotics is a human form versus a niche specialized robot. That could be good for some things, but in general, humanoid robot might make more sense than a dog or some type of reptile or some snake or some just crazy old block machine, right? Most of the world we built out for the human form. Though Tesla's competition won't come from US, that's pretty accurate in that statement. Um, there is figure, figure one is doing pretty good for themselves, but net net, we just wanna look outward because when we're looking at countries like China, they're definitely competing and they do have the manpower. And so how do we gauge this in more advanced, scaled and has potential than Optimus? Yeah. See, that's one thing that I think people don't kind of understand when it comes down to Tesla or just even maybe this company, the scalability. Boston Dynamics does have a great hardware, but they don't have great software. Then couple that with do they have the ability to mass manufacture those products and have they proved previously in their track record as a company to do that. And many companies, even a company that might acquire or do a joint venture with them to do mass production, have not proven their capability to be that great at it, like Elon in all of his companies. And I have to say Elon, because when we look at SpaceX and Tesla, which are two different companies, they both have this potential. And even when we look at the energy sector, not also building out cars and EVs, electric vehicles, but building out battery, right? Electric battery storage. We've been able to create the first factory and facility in North America that can do what that facility does. We reviewed that previously when we were looking at the actual mega factory in California. So again, why everyone hates Tesla, I don't understand, especially when you have competition summit coming this close. So we're going to keep doubling down focus on an amazing technology that's being innovated. And whether it's SpaceX or Tesla, all these things kind of run together in some shape, form or fashion. And so this is nothing but a bright future for Tesla investors and everybody else. And again, Elon for the win, because he continues to deliver great products. Hopefully we're able to cut back on that bureaucracy and that regulation that comes from the government and allow innovation to flow. I see you guys on the next episode, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get some of this electricity because the future is electric and we're here in the driver's seat.